nose or my ears, I would be really pissed off because I wouldn't be able to play my guitar and enjoy my sweet musics anymore. And I'd be sad. I'd be so sad. I really need to pee. So I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I'm going to get another drink because fuck it. Rocksmith is super fun. I've been playing guitar for nearly 10 years now, I guess. No, I started when I was 17 and I'm 25, so, uh, yeah, I guess kind of like eight years, roughly. Um, so for me, like Rocksmith, I don't really use it as a... You, you chill and you, you play your sick jams and it's real fun. I really like Rocksmith. I would I would recommend it in that context. It's just like a, a fun thing for sort of jamming with. I really enjoy it. So I was thinking about the plot while I went to the bathroom, as as you tend to do. I went to the bathroom and I was thinking about my uh, my plot. I see you. F oh wow, well, I already stated that. Um, what what is this update? Josh warned about special effects from Dad's move. Oh, so this is in case I'm too retarded to follow the story. These things have updated. To sort of what we know. This is the same one that was found in the mine. I already knew that. Hannah's broken glasses. Yep. Hannah's locket. A simple wooden cross with Beth's name. Yep. Yeah, so I was thinking about the plot. Okay, so Josh was the dude hanging out at the lodge in that sort of uh, creepy mask. And Flamethrower Bro, as it turns out, might not be evil. And it's possible that on the first night in the game, when Beth and Hannah died on the first night a year ago, and we saw them die, um, maybe the dude at the top of the cliff who was reaching out his hand was flamethrower guy, and he actually wanted to help them. But it was just too late, and they fell off the cliff and died. So maybe flamethrower bro is actually a good guy. However... That still leaves some unanswered questions about... Uh, and, and maybe he was the guy at the chapel as well, and he'd been investigating the, the miners. That still leaves some questions about the conspiracy surrounding the miner disappearance. Why were there all these lies about the numbers of miners? You know, and all this other shit. And it makes me think... 
Milgram Victor, Josh, update, Josh made this to set up his psycho story. We don't actually know that he made this, but I guess the game is telling us he did. We know that he made this. Set up the idea there was a psycho on the mountain. But he didn't, surely he didn't fake everything we saw at the sanatorium. So the, the Milgram Victor thing with the ex-janitor convicted for arson, that was a red herring. But something fucked up did happen with the mines. So there's there's something else going on. Like it's not as simple as that Josh faked everything. There is there is another tier. There's something else happening. Flamethrower Bro is on our side. But what about the fucking minor disappearances? What about the minor disappearances? Hello! Mr. Who can I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Mr. Who can three? Jeez, I'm trying, man. Welcome to the stream, though. Oh, we miss some. We miss some stuff. Um, I'm gonna turn off my ability to see chat in about two seconds. Is that really? There, we only found three out of six, but it's like the middle one. I wonder how much left of much more of this game. Is. Yeah, so if you're in a jail, watch out for ghost arms. Gotcha. Ashley was grateful. Chris Chris saved Ashley. Ashley was grateful. Josh felt betrayed and antagonized Chris. So maybe if I'd tried to save Josh rather than Ashley, things would have been different in that last scene. Chris considered... No, but I stopped violence when I was playing as Chris. So I guess the alternate for that would have been Chris, you know, was violent, which was even worse. Ashley took the scissors, Ashley stabbed the psycho. The psycho gave Ashley a black eye. Chris hit Josh because... So this is showing you how these decisions knock on. This is actually really brilliant because you would never think that the stabbing of the psycho would be the cause of the fact that Chris punches Josh. And I think it's really brilliant how they don't obfuscate this. They don't hide this. They they straight up go, okay, look, this is what this is the video game. Like these are these are the hard and fast video game rules behind this. This is what happened. I think that's really cool. I think that's really good. You're not sitting here wondering about what affected what. The game lays it out for you so you know. Anyway, turn off my second monitor so I can no longer see chat and get back to the story. Got ourselves another cider. Probably a bad idea because we're already really oh fucked God. up, but who cares? Right, let's go. Oh. Certainly not I. Oh. Alright, Emily, I can only pray you die soon. I'm interested in the story of this flamethrower lord now, because he doesn't seem super evil anymore. But I do still want Ashley to be dead. I mean, Emily. Ashley is nice, I like Ash. She has not done anything to antagonize me. She didn't get cut in half, which is lucky for her. I'm kind of curious now. Wait, what would have happened if I had sent the saw the other way? If I had chosen to kill Ash, would she have actually died? Because we know that we know that Josh didn't die because it was his, his like fake head shoved into like this body double thing, but. Ash wasn't in the same situation. If I'd sent the thing the other way, would, have I, would I have actually killed someone? I don't think Josh would have let it happen. I guess, like, something... If I'd sent it to Ash, probably something would have stopped the cart, because it wouldn't make sense for Josh's character to actually let somebody get cut apart. That's a bit spooky. I'd have to replay the game to find out. It's good motivation to do a second playthrough. There's all these choices that have happened where I'm wondering, you know, how would it have been different? And that's a really good thing to set up. It's actually something, like, I played through Life is Strange recently, and I, uh, aside from that, I played through Game of Thrones, the Telltale series, and Wolf Among Us. And with those games, I didn't feel much of a need to replay them. I wasn't... Like, I know things would have been a little bit different if I'd made different choices, but I didn't really feel the need to, like, explore. But this game, this I'm really curious. 
as to what would have happened if I had made certain choices. <laughs> Shit! I shouldn't have pressed the button. I'm not pressing these buttons. I want Emily to be dead. What is that? What the fuck is that? That was some kind of fucked up monster team, and that was not like a... What the fuck? That's not like a dude. Everything we've seen in this game so far has been explainable by science and stuff. It's just been like, dudes being assholes. That was some kind of demon. What the shit? God. Oh god. I did not see that one coming. Okay. Okay. Step out of it, Controller around, move around, get killed, please get killed. Please get killed. I know this might seem a bit weird, but I am actively trying to get this character killed. Ah! Yes, 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 be dead, be dead, yes. Oh, you're right. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fully hard now. Josh, that was amazing. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. Hmm. I got your back. Good. But so there's there's fucking monsters now. Like, honest to God, just like legit, not even a dude, like an actual monster. Good to know. I'm glad Emily's dead. This is the flamethrower lord. I don't want Mike to have the gun. I don't. No, wait, Mike. Actually, from what happened before, he wasn't gonna shoot. He wasn't going to. Let's not. Fly. I think we trust Mike. Actually. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Oh, ha, ha. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? The Wendigo, about? really? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. The miner. <laughs> the 
miners resorted to cannibalism and the Wendigo came out. Gotcha. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? You're just gonna trust this guy? Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already. Tim. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. He going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. I love this. Well, this I'm is great. Get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is amazing. I love what they've done with this story. I absolutely love it. This is, I, I can't even get into it. This is great. Too drunk to explain why. Really, this, this is amazing, is the though. Point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey, come back safe. Nice. We need nice. Hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. I love this. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. What's uh, what, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. I don't want to talk over the dialogue too much. I hope you, you guys who are watching so, are enjoying this. As much as I How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it is. Slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like it's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Okay. Good to know though. So well, fire. What are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Some patterns, like any animal or human. Like how? Like they've got schedules. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> the, uh, but this guy's a nut job, tips. right? He's full of shit. Like if he's, I he's a nut job. All over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. This isn't the explanation. There's something else. Anything like that. See you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out unless you have no other choice. So that's where the don't move mechanic came from, or what it's for, I guess, is the idea that these dudes can't see you if you don't move. Got it. Damn it. I hope These Josh is okay. He doesn't deserve to die. Are or, or were human. Do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin 
off of your entire body. Nice. Piece by piece. And That's how I want to be alive and aware and feast on your organs one piece at a time. This guy's crazy. He's full of shit. This dude's insane. Let's go now. It might still be near. It all fits, but like he's a crazy guy. Like it doesn't quite make. Hang on, no, we, we gotta check out in here more extensively. I don't buy it. Like we we gotta look. Oh crap. We gotta look at things. I know I'm not talking so much anymore, guys. I, I'm I'm sorry if you find that disconcerting or whatever, but it's just I'm really. I, <laughs> the story is really kicking off for me. I'm really engaged actually. Before. I was interested, but not like this is this is dope. Jeez. What is the deal with this? Oh, it's the mannequin from before that was cut in half. Okay, got it. And here's the saw and shit. Ah, forget it. So it's all here. So we're seeing under the curtain. I wouldn't have seen this if I'd just done straight up what the game wanted me to do and just followed the guy. I would have missed all this stuff. I am a discoverer and an explorer of worlds, and I see the things. I see them all. If you're enjoying the... I haven't done, like, any kind of advertising spiel for myself tonight. If you're enjoying the stream tonight, please do follow so that you will know when I go live in the future. If you want to know even better when I go live, scroll down to the bottom of the info section and check out, uh, join the Steam community group, because when I go live, I change my name on Steam to let people know, and I put out an announcement on the Steam community group, so if you want to know when I'm going live in the future for other Let's Plays, or lately a lot of Rocksmith, uh, Wait. do those things. Shit, I didn't mean to do that, I actually wanted to not move, I fucked that up Run. accidentally. Go! Now! Now! Oh! Shit! Ah. Oh my god, is he dead? Oh my god, I fucked up so bad when I didn't move. Holy shit! I like that dude. Oh my god. I wish I hadn't moved. I fucked it up. Ah, I feel so bad about that. I legitimately messed that up. I didn't mean to fuck up. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe oh, that dude died. He seemed oh, like such a bro. Shit. I feel so bad about that. At least we can keep Chris oh. alive. Maybe. Ash, Ash. Oh, thank God, please. Let, let me in quick. Oh, oh my God. Chris. Oh my god, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go. That thing was like right behind me. Ah! Go, 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 go! Oh my god. I wish I hadn't messed that up. Oh, shit. I feel really bad about that. I was making so many jokes about the story before, but I really. I really. Oh, there's Josh going off in the woods. Ah, shit. I wish that hadn't gone down like that. I wish that had been so different. Long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Really Chris, that where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? What happened? The thing, it, uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. Oh, shit, I wish it hadn't gone right. down like that. He's I feel so bad. Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have so the bad key for the that. cable car? Josh. He's oh. gotta have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. What is all that? Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. 
You were? You have been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. Yeah, that's I, for, for, for sure. That's I how agree. I got back here. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. You do it, Mike. I believe in you. Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Hey, are you okay? He was right there. What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. Was it... You got him killed. Wendigo? I got him yeah. killed. And I was definitely not lying about that. <laughs> Jesus. What did it look that like? ass. Like, 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 Double like, a, ass. like a person, only... But just d distorted somehow. This is diary. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. This guy's a little OCD. Shit, I was trying to read that. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it will be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows, and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains. The Cree. There's a lot of history They're to this. Let me keep reading, you fucker. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature. lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree said that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Mining disaster, survivor, death toll rises. Right. Gotcha. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees this movement. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, Shut up. when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. I'm trying to read here, bitch. <clears throat> It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. He initially wrote they cannot be shot, but then he crossed it out, because shooting them apparently works a little bit. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Gotcha. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey and must remain sharp and disciplined. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I've killed six Wendigos. 
knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon.